Hi guys, it's Kristen here with new episode of Free Spirit Beating <laughs> here on the Softlex Company YouTube channel. Let me just pull up my notes for today. There we go. Hope everyone's doing all right out there. Nice to see you this afternoon. It's 3 p.m. Pacific time here in Arizona, 6 p.m. Eastern, and this is my new time slot for Free Spirit Beating. Hi, Janine. Hi, Pamela. You made it today. Wonderful. Welcome. So today we are going to be talking about making a beaded um, face mask chain or lanyard. Hi, Gail. Welcome. Um, I don't, I'm sure some of you have seen that Sarah has made some over on the Softlex Company Facebook page. Um, and if you haven't, uh, there's an awesome one she did with Silver Silk, made a cool chain that can be interchangeable with a necklace. And then Sarah also shared a wonderful um, lanyard necklace idea here over the weekend. I think it was not this past Saturday, but the one before, about a week ago. So you can find that here on the Softflex YouTube channel. And I decided I wanted to make one too. I was out running errands yesterday and taking my mouse kind of on and off and realized that, um, yeah, this is something I want <laughs> for myself also. And so I wanted to share um, a design idea with all of you on today's episode of Free Spirit Beating. So, a couple of new things to talk about, new sale to talk about. We've got our um, crimps and component sale going on. Hi, Lydia, welcome. Let me see if I missed anybody else. Hi, Kim, good to see you. Um, we have our crimps and component sale going on right now, and that is up to 40% off. So we've got, you know, obviously crimps, we've got some new Tierra cast findings, um, all sorts of great clasps and components in our shop over at softlexcompany.com. And you just add your item to your shopping cart and you'll see the discount. So it's gonna be an extra 10% discount off whatever the price is showing online. So if it's a regular priced item, you're going to get 10% off. And if it is a closeout or sale item where you're already see seeing a sale price, when you add that to your cart, you're going to get an extra 10% off. So that's why it's up to 40% because some of those items are 30% off already. And then you're going to get an extra 10 when you add it to your cart. So really great time to stock up on some clasps and components um, especially the stuff that we've got in our closeout section they're fantastic items we're just trying to go through our um, our product list and make some changes so we moved a bunch of stuff over to close out you guys will get a great deal on them and then once um, we kind of run through a good portion of them we plan to bring in some new components and findings for you guys. So excited about that. Um, hi, Christy and Lee is here. Good to see you guys. Couple of new items we talked a little bit about last week too was the Spice Market Check Glass Bead Mix. I'm gonna be using some beads from there. Um, we also have a mystery check glass strand that we put online a couple weeks ago and we've got about 14 or so strands left. I'm going to use one of those in today's um, video and then we have um, just two left of the classic blue check glass mix and I was going to possibly use some of those. I don't know. I pulled them out but we'll see. Um, we'll see if we use that. What else we got new? We also we have silver silk um, chain and a findings kit. You can find that right on our homepage. 
and we're down to just about six of those. So those went really quickly. Um, hope to get more in, but I don't know if we're gonna get the same color. So that one that we've got up there is a shimmering copper. Comes with copper findings, copper clasp, um, and it's a beautiful copper chain. So perfect for fall, just six of those left. Um, and then hopefully we'll get something new in, but like I said, I don't know if we'll get more silver silk, but I don't know if we're gonna get copper again. We might try, try something else. Um, all right. I think that about covers it. So I'm gonna flip you guys down. Oh, for the sale going on right now, up to 40% off crimson components. You do not need a coupon. You just add it to your cart. It is good for retail purchases because designers, your discount applies as it usually would. You're not gonna get anything extra with this particular sale. And um, it's good until tomorrow. So tomorrow is August 25th, uh, midnight Pacific time. Okay. So let's turn down, take a look at what we're going to do today. So I've got my face mask here. This is just a um, regular, you know, straight face mask with elastic sides. But this lanyard can go on any type of face mask. We're just going to clip it on to both sides with a pair of um, lobster claw clasps like this one. This is our size 15 millimeter. And we found that we really liked how this size works. Easy to clip on and off. It slides over the elastic really well. You don't have to worry about it being too small. Um, and it's not quite so big that it feels like it's too much. So good size, 15 millimeter. We have them in um, gold plated. We have them in gunmetal and we have them in copper right now. And they are all currently on sale, 30% off. And you'll get an extra 10% until tomorrow at midnight. So I've got my face mask here. This is made um, from a company called Society6. It's made with one of my original art prints. I am a painter as well as a beater and designer. And so I send them my original artwork and they create products of it. And um, so that's where I got this one from. If you are interested in getting some of these, I did put the link below in the description. Um, it just says click here for Kristen Fagan face masks. So you can always click on that later and take a look and see what I have available if you're interested. They are two, um, they have two pieces of fabric and they have an opening here. So you can always add a filter if you want to. Really nice quality. Um, I'm very happy with them. And if you saw Sarah's masks, she made um, two designs using two different of art masks from my shop as well. So this one and the two that Sarah did were, were all from my Society6 art shop. So I've got a pair of cutters here. These are a pair of flush cutters. I have a pair of crimping pliers. I will most likely be using these, the magical crimping pliers. And then I just had this tool here to share with you. This is a new tool to us over at Softlex Company. So if you've been, um, if you work with wire, like craft wire, copper wire, um, hard wire, there you're doing wire wrapping and making your own um, wire work, you may want to check this out. It's a multi, um, multi-step mandrel head really cool little plier we've used it in a couple of videos so far um, but since it's fairly new to us i just wanted to point it out today so for beads i'm using this is a mystery strand it is all check glass it is let me check the length on it They're all different, so if you purchase one of these, they're $4.99 and you'll just get a random mix, like I got here, and this is eight inches.
really fun and I thought that do, working with something like this just doing sort of a mixed bead soup design would work really well so that I can take it on and off of this mask and put it on some other ones and hopefully it will match everybody. <laughs> So in addition to the My Mystery Strand, I pulled out some beads from the Classic Blue Check Glass Bead Mix. Like I said, we have two of these left. It's a really big bead mix. I've made multiple designs with it so far. Um, and I have this little baggie left of what is left of that mix. I pulled out a couple of one-offs so that I can maybe mix those in. And then I pulled out these guys here since I thought they could be a spacer, um, giving a little continuity to the design. So we've got those. And then lastly, I pulled out all of the beautiful greens from the Spice Market bead check glass bead mix this is our newest bead mix beautiful autumn colors i wanted to see what the options were with all the greens i had left so i just strung them on the emerald soft flex beading wire um, so i can take a look of what's there and this is the remainder of that mix so you can see this mix is gorgeous oranges and golds, ambers and um, yellows. And then it had all of these greens in there too that I pulled out. Let me take a look at my lighting here. I have a little light. I know it's later in the day, so I wanted to see if maybe this helps a little bit. I think it does, so I think I'll keep it on. And lastly, I've got some bead stoppers here. I love these guys. You just click them on to the end of your wire like I did here to hold your beads in place. Lee says, yes, it does. Okay, good. Yeah, I know that I'm. it's really cloudy out and it's later in the afternoon too than I usually do. So um, I wanted to bring in the light and see if that helped. So now we're gonna get started. I think I've been looking online and it seems like about 22 inches to 24 inches is a, is a happy length for, um, your mask lanyard, obviously you're making your own, so you can decide if you wanna make it longer or shorter. I think I'm gonna stick with 20, maybe I'll stick with 24. And I can use my green emerald soft flex beading wire in medium. Um, if we want to punch up those greens a little bit like I did on here. Or we can go with this blue, turquoise blue topaz color, um, which will really pump up the blues a little bit. I think either one would be a great option for the necklace or lanyard, I should say. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these free. I'm using my flush cutter. Lydia loves that blue. Joyce and Lee both say green. 
yeah, you guys know me. I am such a green lover. And surprisingly, I do not use this green emerald wire that much. I think because, um, I don't know, maybe I go to the Peridot, but I feel like it looks super elegant with these green colors. It kind of makes them a little bit richer. And so I am leaning towards the green also. But I agree with you, Lydia, it's a fun blue. It's almost like, it's kind of neon-y at the moment, like jumping off the screen here. So I'm just gonna cut out a bunch of wire. We wanted to do 24 inches in length. So I'm gonna cut about 30, just to have a little extra on each side to work with. And then I can put a bead stopper on one side and string on the other. I think what I'm gonna do is pull out some of the reds because I've really got like blues and greens, some yellow and purple and white in here. I think I'm gonna pop out the red ones. There's only a couple. And I may pop out these larger beads too. This way they're all a little bit closer in size. And I think I'll work with the rest of them from the mystery strand. Pamela says, I'm biased because green is my favorite color. Yeah, it's totally mine too. And I did a green design last week also. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling the greens right now. So speaking of greens, let's see what we might want to pull from here. I love these fire polish ones from the... from the mix. So I think I'll pull those off. Hi, Isha, good to see you. And I'm just gonna kind of place them around. I thought using a color sporadically throughout here will help to um, just give a little continuity to the design but it's still somewhat random. <laughs> Joyce says she ran out of lobster clasps and stole them off other things I had bought recently. Yeah, I'm noticing that our lobster clasps are all um, moving really quickly. We keep having to replenish them. So I think that a lot of people are, I mean, I use a lot of lobster clasps anyway. They're just like a nice, simple, secure clasp to have on ha hand. But with these face mask lanyard things going on and everyone needs something like this, it's, I think it's even more All right, so we are at nine and a half inches. I think I'm gonna go to my blue strand that I put together here and just pop off some of those. And there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing right now. Let me pull these out actually, because those are the ones that are all the same. I thought these were really cute to add because they are like a frosted little flower. And they look, remind me of these little flowers here.
And you can totally be a lot more thoughtful about where you're putting stuff than I'm being right now. Um, like I said, I just wanted to really just play around with making it a random strand. Great for any beads, one-off little beads you have lying around. Let's see, where can I stick you? All right, so now we're up to 13. Let's see what else I got here. So I've got a bunch of these little flower spacer beads. I don't feel like the drops make as much sense on this particular design. And then I have a lot of these blue ones too. I also have, this is just what you would call like your bead soup, your little often be orphan beads. You know, I have a little bit of yellow, but I didn't want to pull them out of my spice mix because I really liked how the yellow works with the other colors, and I think I'm going to want them in another design. But I do have more purple, so I think I'm going to add in some of these purples. I actually think I might put this on the um, on either side since I have two of them. They're kind of a blue purple mix. So maybe I'll put them by the clasps. I think the purple helps in there, pops it up a little bit more. Some darker blues. and I'm starting to run out of space. So the last thing I pulled out is I do have some metal that I can add in between. I think these are gonna be a little too big. So I've got these, these, I've got lots of little lots of these little balls here, which I believe are three millimeter little spacer beads and a couple of different types of hishi. Since I'm using gold lobster clasp, I actually was gonna do silver today. I mean, you guys know I always do a lot of gold or antique brass. Um, I was gonna do silver today, but I didn't have any 
of these 15 millimeter silver clasps. So I had to go, had to go back to gold. So I think these will be fun to put some of those in between the beads here. Do I want to add these? Pop some of these guys in here. Do you like how, uh, <laughs> how haphazard I'm being? <laughs> or is it making you uncomfortable? <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna string that one and then this one on each end. And then get started. So I've got like that. So how was everybody's weekend? I'm trying to remember what I did. Oh, I got a new chair. I shared it with you guys over in VIB group because I was wearing all sorts of green. I still have to go back and get the other chair. What do you think? Should I do he she's or should I do the little balls? Should I do these? or these. One of the local shops downtown was getting rid of some green chairs and I couldn't resist. I had to, I was like, oh, I will totally take them. Let's try one of the he she's. Lydia says he, she. Hi, Nancy, welcome. Welcome to the show. We used to be on earlier in the day, um, so you would be watching the replay normally, but now you're here live. So welcome, welcome. I am just stringing Oh, Joy said, thank Lydia. I wasn't sure how that was spelled. Yeah, that he, she is a weird, um, if you've never seen it spelled before, it's kind of tough to sound that one out. H-E-I-S-H-I. -S -S it's a cute name, he, she. Yeah, Nancy, you're live. So now I have an extra chair in my, in my living room and I still have to go pick up the other one. I have a small car, so I can only fit one in my car at a time. <laughs> so I was hoping I would be able to get, <laughs> to get both chairs in, but that just didn't happen. So right now I'm just taking these random beads and I'm stringing them on my Softflex beading wire. And you know what, I could probably do that so that you guys can see the colors a little bit better. And I can see the colors a little bit better too to see what I'm doing. I have a bead stopper on one end and I am using Softflex medium beading wire, which is 0.019 diameter. That's our 
all-purpose size. It's the one we have the most colors in, and it's the one that's used the most um, by me as well as most designers. It's good for glass beads, gemstone beads, especially, specifically a little bit larger because sometimes your gemstone beads can be really tiny. I feel like I need a, a hishi in here somewhere. Maybe there. I should probably count how many I have. So I've got one, two, three, four. Let me take four aside and do five aside for the other side. And I have one more. And then the rest will kind of go up the back. So I don't think we need them. So yeah, this is for um, the medium Softflex is all purpose. Softflex, if you don't know what Softflex is, it's a stainless steel micro braided beading wire used for stringing projects. You can also knit with it. You can um, use it in all sorts of designs. It's good with metal, with glass. And today is my 99th episode of Free Spirit Beating. Can you guys believe it? 99. What am I gonna do next week for my 100th? I can't believe it. <laughs> Hi, Sherry from Lakeport, California. How are you doing today? I hope that you're not anywhere near the fires. I don't know where Lakeport is. I know that there's some, some fires up north in California. And we have a couple of here in Arizona by me too. We can actually smell them today. And that's always sad. But hopefully they can get all of them contained. I feel like this guy might be, oh no, it's about the same size as that. I feel like you're a little big. Oh, Damien, Damien with Softlex Company is saying that they have a few fires there in New Mexico too. Oh my goodness, the West is on fire. So sad. Do you ever find when you do random designs that somehow you end up having like a little bit of a pattern form in a way that you're like, no, I don't want a pattern. Well, that's a red one. Let's put that one aside. It's sometimes really hard to do random. It's like your brain just wants to go back into a pattern. Let me see where I'm at here. Okay. So like I said in the beginning, I think we've got um, just two of those classic blue bead mixes left and they were such a pretty Czech bead mix. They have a lot of these tanzanite colors. 
like this guy here. It was all like this kind of tone of blue. Really pretty. And once those are gone, those are gone, we base those off of the Pantone Classic Blue Color of the Year. I wanted to see what point do I want to start adding some he she's back in again. I think right about there. So let me even just push that down a little bit. Well, this guy is definitely going to match almost every mask I have. <laughs> I do have an all red one and I do have a very striking black and white one. So I think those I might have to do a little bit, something a little bit different. But this should match everybody else. Where's the hole on that one? There it is. I'm going to pull out a couple more of these random mix here. And a few more of my greens. So I was out yesterday looking for a, a, a baby pool, I guess, to give my dogs a bath. I wanted to give my doggies a bath. And usually in the summertime, we'll get like one of those little blow up baby pools or um, even the plastic kind, and we'll put them in that. And you cannot find them anywhere. I mean, I knew when everything started, everything was closing down, I, it was really hard to find baby pools. We were actually looking back in March and um, I thought for sure by now we'd be able to find them. And I still had trouble. I went out to one of the stores and they told me that um, they haven't had them in like you know, two months, they haven't had anything like that. I went to two different places. And I finally went to like a sporting goods store. And I thought, um, maybe they'll have something. And I totally lucked out. They did not, they did have a baby pool, but I didn't see it until after I already made my purchase. And it was really tiny. I kind of have big, bigger dogs, so it was a little too small for them anyhow. Um, but what they did have is they had like a blow-up inflatable boat. <laughs> and, so, and so 
I bought that instead and I figured, you know what, I can take it to the lake and I can take it to the river. So, <laughs> so we inflated it this weekend and just didn't inflate the bottom part of the boat, basically just inflated the top sides so that the dogs could, we can get them in there and they're not like touching the inflated bottom. Um, yeah, it was pretty funny. But the size worked out perfect. It wasn't that much more than if I had bought an inflatable baby pool. And I now have a boat. <laughs> so, so I'm excited to take, um, take the boat out. We've got a river close by that I can use. And we've got like a little lake marina area that there's a spot where you can swim and people have like big inflatable um, tubes and stuff they can use there. So I think I will go ahead and give it a try. And we also have a lake we like to go to up north and I think I can use it there also. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> Joyce is how fun. Yeah. I was in the store and I was just like, hmm, should I just get this boat? <laughs> Give that a try and see what happens. Let's see here. All right. I'm going to put a bead stopper on both sides right here and see how long this is. I thought I'll probably get a lot more use out of it than just washing the dogs and then eventually getting rid of getting rid of it when the season's over, you know. All right, so I'm up to 21 inches. I was thinking of going to 24, but maybe I'll stop at 22. Yeah, I think if I stop at 22, we'd still be at a good, a good place. I've got these large guys here. I can put like that on each side. Hi, Lisa. How are you doing tonight? We are just making a random bead face mask lanyard. I'm using up some beads from the Spice Market um, check glass bead mix and some beads from the mystery check glass bead strands we've got. And then I just included a bunch of kind of one-offs, little bead soup, if you will. All right, let me see what I measure now that I added a couple more. Joy says, perfect pops of color throughout. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. It would just be like a nice, yep, I'm just at 22 now, perfect. So once I add my clasp, it'll probably add just a little bit more length. So I've got all sorts of greens and blues and pops of purple in here. And then I've got some gold accents too. And I decided to focus just the gold accents on the front since this will be um, in the back when I'm wearing the mask. All right, let's take this away. And now we'll need two crimp tubes. I'm gonna use our two by two millimeter crimp tubes in the gold filled color to match my lobster clasps. 
And if you guys missed it in the beginning, I am using 15 millimeter lobster clasps for this design. So just gonna slide on my crimp tube, slide on the clasp, go back through that crimp tube to make a loop. And then use a crimping plier to crimp. You can use regular crimping pliers or you can use magical crimping pliers, which is what this is. What that does is turn your tube into a nice little bead. So we're gonna put that in the center, give it a good squeeze. Oh man, I got it a little off center. So I'm gonna sw switch my tool around and see if I can See, I had gotten it off center, so I swapped my tool around and kind of um, got the other side too, so that all four sides now have a pinch. That's the key, you really do want four sides to have that pinch. And sometimes you can get it, get it fixed like that. And keep, and usually if I, I'm a little off in the beginning, I will go around and like roll it in there even a few more times than usual, than normal. Cause I do it normally eh, four or five times. And then I just wanna tug on it, make sure that it's nice and secure. Grab my flush cutters. And using the flat part of your flush cutter, move that up to your crimp, just like so. Give that a nice trim off. Joyce says, I have been seed beating the back so it's not so heavy for those who are sensitive. That is a great idea and what a great use of seed beads too. I might have to um, give that a try as well because this one, although most of them are pretty light, there's a couple on here, especially in the front here, that are a little bit heavier. They are all glass, whereas seed beads are gonna be a lot lighter. It's good to have a variety too, right? Always nice to have variety. So strung on my crimp tube, then my clasp, then you go back through your crimp tube. And now you're gonna to want to just make sure your crimp is pulled down a little closer to your beads. And you do wanna leave some slack so that this can move around nicely. I'm actually probably gonna go like this and just make sure that this will bead can move around nicely without it getting too tight by putting it in a nice circle pattern you ensure that it's got move room to move around and put that crimp in there give it a good squeeze oh it did the same thing to me well I'm consistent I'm consistent today <laughs> Go around and around and around, round. Make sure it's nice and snug. And then trim off your excess. My crimp issue is still where it crosses in the crimp itself and I don't catch it beforehand. Yeah, with the magical crimping pliers, you don't have to usually look at that crossing as, as much as with a regular pair of crimping pliers, but it does still affect a little bit how it lays. So let me go ahead and I just clipped those clasps right onto the edge and you can just easily take them off when you need to wash your mask when you get home and you can always wipe down these are just glass I mean if you're going to use too much metal I would be concerned but um, you can always take a, a wipe 
and wipe down that lanyard as well so it's nice and clean. And let me turn you guys up and we'll just see. It's kind of like, um, let me take this light off. Ooh. There we go. It's just like those eyeglass holders, you know? They just kind of hang right there. You've got a nice big mask. Tons of color, so I can use it with all sorts of different ones. And then when I am not using it, I actually saw somebody say that they put the mask in the back, which I thought was quite interesting. So take your mask, put it behind you, when you're not using it and now you've got a nice beaded necklace in the front and you're protecting your mask a little bit in the back so it's not hanging in the front um granted if i'm just running in and i'm you know i'm just got it on here and, and pick it up and put it on take it off um because i'm outside or i'm just running in the store i'm sure um that that would be fine. But if you are concerned, if you're somewhere where, you know, you feel like you're gonna be wearing it, maybe you work and you're gonna be wearing it most of the day. And that was a really neat idea. And it's also really comfortable. So you don't have to worry about um, anything being super heavy in the back with that either. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, I think seed beads added in there is a great idea, especially for the back side of it or even in between the beads that you're working with. That will also help make it a little bit lighter uh, to have those tiny little beads added in there too. Looks great, Gail says. Thank you. Yeah, Joyce had not heard of that. I know I did a little bit of Googling um, earlier today to just see what people were making and what was going on out there and that came up um, in one of my searches. And I said, oh, that was a neat idea. <laughs> Kim, you're welcome, you're welcome. I hope you guys give it a try. Um, just simple stringing and crimping with the larger lobster claw clasps is all you need. Um, I've seen them done with the little clips and stuff too, um, but of course, Lobster clasps are something I always have around. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably have around too. Being beaters, it's nice to be able to accessorize <laughs> something new and um, have a nice easy way to access your mask. I know I tend to shove it in my purse and then I'm taking it in and out. And each time I do that, I'm like, oh, I, I don't wanna stick it in there because it's touching everything else. and. So I'm excited that I'm now gonna have a lanyard that I can wear too, um, just when I'm running in and out in places. Uh, I tend to lose things in my bag, as I'm sure you guys too. I'm fumbling for my keys, I'm fumbling for my mask. Um, it'll just make things a little bit easier when I have to go do some errands. Um, all right, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful week. I will see you next Monday for our 100th episode of Free Spirit Beating. Cannot believe that. And um, just a reminder, we've got our up to 40% off sale going on for crimps and components over, at, which is all beading findings, over at the Softlex Company website, softlexcompany.com. We also have our kit uh, reveal this week. So I can't believe it, right? Wednesday, yeah, on Wednesday, Sarah's gonna be doing our um, Spice Market kit reveal and design uh, on the Softlex Facebook page. And I believe that will be at 3 p.m. Pacific time. She had to change her hours a little bit later as well due to um, virtual schooling for both my kids and her kids. We had to kind of push things back a little bit. And if you have got the Serenity Shores kit, go ahead and post up your designs that you've made into the VIB group if you haven't yet with the hashtag Serenity and you'll be entered to win um, a future kit. We just choose them by random. If you did three designs, you get three entries. If you did six designs with the kit, you'll get six entries. So, um, 
please do join us over on the Softlex Studio VIB Facebook group. And if you purchased the Serenity Shores kit, share your design by the end of today. And they're gonna choose a winner that will be announced on Wednesday when we launch our new kit and we um, unveil the Spice Market kit. So exciting week. Um, Sherry has really bad smoke from the fire. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Stay safe, stay indoors. Um, I hope you know you don't have any breathing difficulties. It's just so hard right now with fires. I hear they're in New Mexico, they're in California, they're here in Arizona too. Um, such a hard time of year. We all need rain, praying for rain. And I will see you guys here next Monday. Lots of love, happy beating, bye.